wildfires continue to rage across California. The Mendocino wildfire is the largest in the history of the state, burning over 360,000 acres. There are now eight major fires burning, and fires have killed 10 people since the first of the year, including six firefighters. Now, some insurers are taking a more direct approach to protecting their policyholders. Joining us now is Paul Crump, president of Chubb North America Commercial and Personal Insurance. Good to have you here. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. I love talking about how Chubb helps their clients. Give me some context on this fire in California. Oh. Have you ever seen anything like this? Is it as dramatic as it, as, as it sounds by the numbers? It is incredibly uh, dramatic. It's, it's large. Just in the last 10 months alone, California has seen three of uh, the largest uh, eight fires in its history. So, you know, California, it's, it's wildfire, wildfire, wildfire in California right now. What are you doing as a result? We've read you've gone through extraordinary lengths to protect the homes of your policyholders. By doing what, for example? Well, maybe I can just break it down and do what we do before, uh, during, uh -huh. and then after. Well, before, we know where all of our clients are, where they live, and how to contact them. So. When, it, when they're in imminent danger of a wildfire, we give them tactics on what they can do. Some of it's just very practical, some of it's to help protect the home. During the wildfire, then we send in our private wildfire defense fo uh, forces to help fight the fire. It's everything from going in and removing any debris that might be in the yard, the, the lawn furniture, taking duct tape and typing up, the, say, the dryer vent so that smoke doesn't come into the house inadvertently, doing the same with the garage doors, all the way to putting out sprinkler systems on the yard. And ultimately, if the house is really threatened, we put a foam gel on it that acts as a fire retardant and it helps repel the fire. I got to ask you this question, but how does this make financial sense for you? It, is it more costly to replace the home of those you have insured and then next year you'll have the premiums go up at the same time as opposed to letting the home become a loss? You know, thanks, Melissa. It's a terrific question. The, the reality is this is a huge return on investment here. Um, just this year alone, we've saved, you know, a dozen homes. Last year, dozens of homes. Over the years, hundreds of homes. And those are saved homes, let alone, you know, a partial losses. So, no, it absolutely pays for it. It pays for it in dollars and cents, but it also pays for it in reputation and goodwill with our clients. Now, you have teams that go in. I mean, these are people who, this is their job. These are professional firefighters, yeah. 13 squads we have right now, seven are currently active out in California. We're monitoring fires. Are they full-time staff? You have them all the time? Uh, or all no, they, they're, they're seasonal staff. Right. Um, they operate in 18 states for us where wildfires are the most prevalent. What am I paying for that as a Chubb It's customer? a complimentary service. It's actually in the best interest of our clients. It's in the best interest of our shareholders. And clearly, it's in the best interest of the communities as well. Because when, you, when we send in our private forces, that helps free up the public am, forces. Am I already paying more for my insurance since I live in an area that is likely to have a, a forest fire of some kind? Uh, uh, you know, y yes. So Actually, I'm paying for it, event essentially. I should just take advantage of it, right? Well, Yes, if you're a Chubb client, you're getting it. If you're not a Chubb client, you're not going to get it. Right. How much do premiums go up next year in this area where the f fires are right now? You know, insurance companies in the homeowner space have to work through the regulatory body. So, you know, in some jurisdictions, you know, it's going to take time. Most often, though, we have to prove what the actual losses were, put them into the pricing models, deal with the regulators, and then bring them out into the marketplace. Don't misunderstand. I think it's a great idea. Oh, yeah. Get out, oh. out there and, and help them figure out what they need to do and before it's, it's it becomes so exciting. Right. It's yeah. proactive as opposed to yeah. passively sitting I back. I agree.